you know, people say reset. Oh, you're hitting the reset button. You're hitting the reset button. You're not. To sit there and think that a guy can't come in into the situation and have some success, I think it's bonkers. In, in fact, 100%. most number one overall picks come into a way worse situation. It fell into our laps. Like you said, we're gambling with house money. Now, okay. listen, I'm all in for Fields being our starter. If, I don't know, Carolina won a couple more games. We had like pick seven and pick nine. I'd be like, no, I'll build around fields. That that'd be your best bet. Like he is adequate enough and average enough. But but at that point, I'm still not sold that we're gonna win a Super Bowl with him. Like the he's situation still in my matters. mind, it does matter. So the fact that the number one overall pick fell into our lap, that's going to most likely give you a much better result than Justin Fields will. What you really, really truly need in this league to go all the way, and I just don't think we're going to go all the way with Justin Fields. And so if that's the case, in my mind, it's a failure. I don't Whether you're a, a first-round knockoff in the playoffs or don't make the playoffs or this and that, in my mind, it's all the same. I want the Super Bowl. Uh, so is, if we're going to go off and fail with Justin Fields, I'd rather try and go off with somebody else. And if we fail, fine. Even if you like Justin Fields' talent, has I don't think he's ever demonstrated four consistent games in a row. Right. I don't think I've ever seen Justin Fields play four really good games of football in a row. And you can blame whatever you want for that. But that's why that Green Bay game did matter so much, because if you yeah. would have been able to get a third win in a row, it would have it, it would have said something. It would the fact and, that he came out and just shh, nine points. And people keep talking about how this, you know, like he can take you there. He needs more talent and more support and this and that. Objectively speaking, ignoring all of his side notes and coordinators and all that. I've never seen the guy put together four consistent games in a row in the regular season, and I've watched every single game he's ever played. And now all of a sudden, just because he got some new players and some backup and a better coordinator, I don't see that now he's going to put together four consistent games in a row. Oh, and it's against all the best teams left, and it's in the most high-leverage, high-pressure situations left. And all of a sudden, it's just those two things don't compute to me, and people are just like, We'll get him a new receiver and a new O-line and a new coordinator and give him some more stuff. And then another thing and another thing. And the guy hasn't even like Listen, sniffed the playoffs yet. It could happen, but people don't understand that. They're hoping for a miracle. Caleb Williams would have gone first overall in 15 drafts probably before this, before Andrew Luck, basically. And people acting like, like that's something that you, you should just go, eh, we don't need it. That's wild.